Hey there everybody, Silver Turtles back once again with another Pokemon X on my Wi-Fi battle. It is a VGC 14 match against my man, Nick Score, and um, this is the finals match as I said, and <laughs> he maybe fought his way back from the um, losers, sem losers finals all the way back to the um, bracket. So this is the final match, so let's dive into this battle. Um, you'll see in the team preview that he has the Venusaur, the Rotom Heat, the Garchomp and the Aerodactyl. Now, um, knowing that he would most likely lead with the Garchomp um, because of what I did last time, I wanted to bait him into leading with that. So I decided to um, have Talonflame there, knowing that he would probably go for a double Rock Slide or like a Rock Slide with something. Um, and I honestly thought he might bring in Gardevoir, which is why I led with Talonflame as well. But um, this is a very bad matchup for me, so I decided to switch out. Um, I go into my MF Doom, my Rotom Wash, I, I finally decided to bring this thing in. Um, he goes for a Rock Slide, and my, <laughs> my, um, my time is just dodging all of that. I'm like a ninja. And I might go for the Ice Beam, and yes, I am Scarf. Knowing that most Garchomp are not Scarf in VGC, this is a very advantageous position. But, um, Tarantari is just a little bit slower than Aerodactyl with a Choice Scarf. But that's okay, because, um, I don't really need the speed that much anyway. So here he brings in Venusaur, and I, I, here I was regretting bringing in um, my my Rotom, but um, I knew that he probably might not attack me because um, he would expect the switch, but he actually goes for the Sky Drop, predicting me to probably go in for something. So um, I actually went for the Ice Beam onto it. He goes for the Giga Drain, and because I'm in the sand, it's not going to be able to 2 KO me. Um, and my, <laughs> my Rotom gets hurt by the sand though, even though it's way up in the sky. And um, knowing he's gonna, he's finally gonna come down. So I go for an ice beam onto the Aerodactyl, and I went for a Willow Wisp onto the the Venusaur. Um, so yeah, I get off that nice and clean. Nice and clean. Ice beam, and it does a good chunk. But Aerodactyl is in the sand, which is why it doesn't. It barely manages to, um, it barely misses the the KO. So um, he gets burnt, even though he's not physical. I think that the residual damage would help a lot, especially if he gets a leech seed off onto one of my Pokemon. So this is very good for me. So Rotom faints, but it did its job very well. So here I decide to bring in um, what do you call this? I decided to bring in my Kangaskhan, and I decided to fake out um, either uh, I not either. <sighs> oh my goodness! I decided to fake out. The Venusaur just because I could and um, I was pretty sure that if he did decide to go for uh, protect like he did just now I would be in a safe position so I just went for the fake out onto Mega Venusaur um, and it does a decent chunk he's gonna get more damage because of the burn um, and I, I went for the Ice Beam onto Aerodactyl but um, yeah this is, a, this is a very good turn for me so how do you say this? Yeah, just residual damage. <laughs> right, left, right, left, right, left, right. He goes for the Sky Drop onto my Kangaskhan, which I know is not going to be able to 2 hit KO or do any anything significant. But I should have probably gone for the Ice Beam onto the Venusaur instead. Um, that's just me being really, really, really stupid. But um, I'm just waiting for Time to Die, just so I could safely bring in my, um, my Talonflame. But here... Um, Sand is finally out, so that means I could finally KO Aerodactyl. Um, he doesn't. He no longer gets the special defense boost. So um, he goes. I go in for the Ice Beam, and that's gonna be able to knock it out. And then I think I went for the Double Edge onto Venusaur. I am not sure. We will see. So yes, I did indeed go for the Double Edge onto Mega Venusaur, and this should take it out very well, and it does. <laughs> That's why I run double edge on that thing. It's just so powerful. It's so godly. So um, that's two of his Pokemon down. Next he brings in his Cypher, his um, Rotom Heat. And I oh wait, no, that's not two. That's three Pokemon down. So it's pretty much a good game for me. Um, he can't really take anything out of my team. So I went for the double edge. That takes it out very well. At neutral, that wasn't even at plus one, and that took out that road and completely destroyed it. So I'm really happy here, and I won the first match of the finals. But um, the second round is just oh my goodness. We'll just see how it goes. Anyway, Sephiroth's out. Peace.